Today I'm going to show you how to create a basic animation in Adobe After Effects. The concept will be the same for all platforms, CS3, CS5, and Creative Cloud, but today I'll be using Adobe After Effects CS4. So first of all, we need to make a new composition. You can select it here from the startup window, or go to the composition menu and select a new composition. You can choose any of your desired settings here, then click OK. Now that you have the composition ready, let's get started. We're going to be adding some layers soon, but first off, I'm going to import our created logo. Browse and select your file. Please disregard the file name, I know it's a little off. Either way, click and drag it to the timeline. See, now you can see it in the timeline. You can zoom in and out, basically enjoy it every single pixel and color you are seeing. You should adjust it based on the needed size. And perfect. Now I'm going to add a layer, a solid layer. You can adjust the settings, but we're keeping everything simple. Just hit OK. Where'd my logo go? Don't worry, it's still there. We just need to come down here and place the solid layer underneath the logo layer. And bam, we're back in business. Now the amount of options you have with your logo is limitless, but we're gonna add another layer, this time a camera layer. This is basically to give it the 3D effect. I prefer the full settings. Just hit OK and OK. Then you need to come down here and activate these checkboxes to give the 3D effect to the logo. Then come up here, select this tiny camera, and check out this magic. We have all kinds of movement on the X, Y, and Z plane. Let's just adjust it a little bit. Right here. And make sure to resize it. Mmm, looks pretty good. Now we're going to start to add some effects. Click on this background layer, the solid black in our case. Come over here to the effects and presets menu and you can choose any effect you want to apply. Or click this little menu up here and browse one of the presets. Mm, I think I'm going to choose a synthetic. You can see all the options here. Choose the one you want to try out. I'm going to choose the orange streaks effect and boom. That basic background now has an animation on it. Hit the space bar or drag this time marker to see the effect. Yeah, starting to look real nice, right? Now you can see we have no effect on the logo, but we're going to add this right now. But first, we don't need a large amount of time for this effect, so slide this over to reduce it. Maybe four or five seconds is okay. Bring your time marker back to zero and select your logo layer. Now let's add some effects to this logo. Some come back over here to the effects and presets menu. Wait, 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 wait. Let's keep this very simple. Very simple logo reveal. Come back to your logo layer, hit this baby triangle to open up your menu, open up transform, and you have all these options to work with. But scroll down to opacity and click on the little clock tick right here. This will add a keyframe. As you can see, represent it by this little dot. Now that your keyframe is set at zero seconds, come back to the opacity and bring that baby all the way down to zero. Then slide your time marker a few seconds ahead and boost the level back to 100. See, the second keyframe has created itself. So now you have the visual effects running in the back but also your logo is appearing out of nowhere. Oh my God, where did it come from? Ah. And the cool thing about it is you can adjust the time simply by dragging this little dot over. Both of these keyframes can be adjusted. Yeah, you did that. Good job, good job. So now that we have the basics down, let's head back over to the effects menu and add a little more to this logo reveal. You can really do anything you want with this. Um, for example, let's add a lens blur. Double click on that, come back over to your comp, minimize this to clean up your view, and under effects, you should see the lens blur. Open that up, let's tweak the iris radius. 
hit the little clock to make a keyframe, I'll jack it up to 200%. So in the beginning, you can't see anything. But towards the end, you see this blurred out quick snip logo. So I think you have the idea. Drag the time marker over and it should create another keyframe down here. Then try it out. It goes from a transparent blur to a clean and clear masterpiece. It looks real good. So after you render that out, which might take forever if you're on an ancient PC like mine, this is how it will look. So yeah, try it out, tell us what you think, and tag us so we can see what creations you've come up with by watching this. You can tweet us with any concerns, tutorial suggestions, or if you need help creating an intro at all. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. We will appreciate it. Thank you.